Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome, 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 one and all. It's that time of the week again. Welcome to a rather rain sodden Suarez HQ. Having said that, it's still about 95 degrees inside the pod. Ed and Ed, sorry, Ed, that's me. We, we're sweating like a bag of chips here. It's terrible. Right, we're going to get on with an epic live stream. Boy, oh boy, have we got something to show you again tonight. We've made some modifications. I'm going to explain everything in just a moment. But right now, we're just going to roll the titles. Boom! Yes, we are live. It's a great pleasure to have you here, folks. Thank you so much for being here. Now then, now then, what am I about to tell you? Well, as if we couldn't possibly learn any more about last week's live stream, we've decided to have another go tonight. But, interestingly enough, we've got some big modifications. We've changed it yet again, so I guarantee... It's going to be quite a roller coaster. I hope that you've got uh, something to drink. You're sitting comfortably because we're about to begin. We're going to do lots of shout outs as we progress through the evening. Right now, we're just going to have a quick whiz through the cameras and just do one final check to make sure everything's okay when their corner cams are right. Good evening, Instagram, by the way. We're just going to run through the cameras for everybody on YouTube. Right, let's try the overhead. Okay, overhead cam. Yes, I'm just going to go over here. Look, hello, hello, hello. And uh, down there, look. And tilt, zoom and slide. How cool is that? And finally, your friend of mine is the Roam Cam. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Hello, Roam Cam. Yes, yes, yes. Things have changed. It might look the same, but if you'll give me 20 seconds in a moment, I'm going to explain exactly why this is going to be different to last week. Look at all these amazing colours. We're using more than we did last week. Everything. This, this is version 2.0 omg it just gets better but uh right now i want to show you a quick video that we filmed earlier hey guys how you all doing look what's behind me look at this amazing thing now if you saw last week's live stream hopefully you did did you if you didn't shame on you only joking there'll be a link down in the description somewhere to go check it out particularly after you've watched this live stream Look what we did. So we're doing something pretty groundbreaking for us. We've never tried this with a multicolor approach before, but we finally got it out of the pod. We've got it up on the wall for you to have a look at. Now we're making some changes for tonight. This wonderful man here identifies a few things that need to be done. So we've made some changes. I'll talk to you about those as the broadcast goes on, but we are gonna have another go at this. Uh, take and, two. Uh, take two, yes. And we're very excited about that, as you may have seen from my social post that I put out literally about an hour and a half ago. So this is it, guys. We're going to get this absolutely perfect this time. Let's see if we can get better lines here. We're going to fill up the gaps. We're going to get the lines better. So lots and of improvements. Oh, something and special. something Enjoy. special. Yes. So particularly keep your eyes on what's going to happen on the floor when we get painting. Right. That's it from him. That's it from me. Back to us in the studio. Okay, fantastic. Well, that was a little message. Sorry, not for you guys on Instagram, that was for YouTube. <laughs> Unfortunately, sorry. I'll tell you how you can watch the full four camera setup in just a moment. But anyway, yes, we wanted to show you last week's um, uh, brilliant, amazing stripe into chaos painting that we did. We finally got it up on the board and realize then that uh, this bottom table, as you look at it over there, and as you guys are least looking at it over there, actually, if you imagine, was tilting ever so slightly this way. So it all, very slightly, all the lines tend to lean a little bit this way. So we've learned from that, and we've made the table level. That's improvement number one. Number two, he has got a slightly thicker base coat, and this time it's cream instead of white. Okay, we've got some better clamps on the top because one of them flew off and broke last time. 
So that's improved. We've got a much um, sh a steeper kind of angle and incline uh, here on the fold. So that's going to be pretty good to see what happens there. And here's the really coolest thing of all. Uh, let's see if we can show you just down here. So down on the floor, I don't know if you remember, we were capturing all of the paint that came off and we were doing something really quite extraordinary. However, that piece of canvas, it, it was just all over the place. It didn't work. I didn't really think about it. So what we've done, we've done some upgrades. We've taken the foot off the center and now look, look, I've got a slideable, movable canvas. So we're going to get two paintings in one. I can't wait to see what happens on this. So throughout the evening, we're going to try and keep you uh, firmly up to date with what's going on on the canvas on the bottom. This has also had a base coat and the plan is, is as it drips and if I'm too busy doing stuff up there, you can all shout at me and go, Ed, move the canvas, move it. And I'll be able to do that, capture some drips, that, capture more drips and so on and so on and so on until we've got something organic and almost that it's painted itself. And I can't wait to see what that looks like. So folks, buckle up, strap yourselves in. It's about to get very, very real. I'm getting straight into the painting. We're going to do plenty of shout outs, hellos and everything as we go on. But can I just say a massive thank you to everybody who's turned up and joining us. This is Stripes 2.0. I'm very excited and I can't wait to get stuck in. Let's get the first two colours on and see where we go from there. Now remember folks, <laughs> remember my friends, if you've got questions, we love to hear your questions. AD will do his best to fire them into my earpiece okay let's move you around instagram uh just so that you can hear what's going so that i can hear what's going on yeah andy burgers has joined us fabulous uh, fabulously flawsome studio armanda ultimate multitasking yes lots of you here on instagram thank you very much if you do want to go and see the entire four camera high definition experience just have it over to youtube you can do it from the link in my bio and join everybody else right i have to give this a quick spray and I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to spray this very fine mist of thinners on the bottom half. Now, of course, the one thing we had last week was that when it got about halfway down here, nothing really happened. It kind of sort of split, spread itself out, and nothing really sort of kind of worked after that. So I'm going to try and hopefully avoid that this week. Here we go. We're going up first because I just want to get, get on with things. Uh, I've also, we've also moved this, uh, right, yes, okay, here we are, I'm going to go straight to the middle, buddy, if you want to get the middle shot, yes. hello, <laughs> right, okay, are we ready, here goes some yellow, I don't know what I'm saying then, yeah, we've moved the whole thing 10 centimetres back, uh, so I'm a lot closer now, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes, this is the first one of the night, off you go on your holidays, bye bye now, so long, Ooh, that's gone off at a bit of an angle, hasn't it? Ooh, what's happened there? Why has that gone off at an angle? Yeah, well, we shall see. Right, a little bit less on that one. Right. Okay. So, I'm fitting my head here. Right, let's get a drop of blue on. This is a stock to, uh, blue. With French blue. Let's see how we get on. Yeah, that one's pretty nice. I can see that one going down. And uh, let's try one more there. I don't want to put too much of this on at the moment. No, it's going again, mate. It's splitting off into two. Okay, right. Obviously, there's no thinners on that bit. Right, hang on a second. Ooh. It's going to be another one of those physical working hard evenings, isn't it? Oh, we've got drops. We've got some drops already. That's good. Let's tease that. In fact, let's get that whole section sorted out. There we go. Let's keep that liquid. Right, okay. Right, that's the right amount of thinners on now. Let's take another couple of colours up as we go. Uh, right, okay. Yellow and blue so far. Let's see what happens. 
Uh, we're going for the next three now. So we're going with the Agio Scooter Green. I'm up on my platform. <laughs> Banging my head on everything. Let's get one there. Yeah, so uh, for those of you with uh, astute eyes, you might see a great big pink blob on the ceiling. You see uh, something exploded at some point. I can't remember what. Uh -huh. Okay, well, this is definitely better. Yeah, can, no, you can see that. If you can do, can you see uh, where the Piaggio's gone, buddy? Can you get a zoom in on that? Look at that go down on the flat bit. Yeah, see the thing is taking it now. Yeah, I like it. Okay. So we're getting, I think, depending on how quickly I apply the paint and the volume I'm putting on will depend on the thickness of the lines, I guess. So I'm going to try and vary that as I go. Who's up for a drop of pink? Should we get some pink on, mate? Should we just do it? Do it! Just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Nothing is impossible! No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Oh, you've got to have some patience, haven't you? Right, okay. So then we've got a nice Pantone pink on there. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Uh, I'm going to go in with one now called Water Blue. I always think it should be called Water Turquoise, but hey ho, who am I? So we get a fair drop of that on. And that's quite interesting. It's all spilled down the back here. That's fine. I'm not worried about that. So we've got five up there at the moment. So let's grab those. I've got to see if I can get down there without spilling it all. Ah, here I am. Yeah, hello everybody. Right, okay, let's get that over there. Now, keeping an eye on what's going on underneath. That's quite interesting so far. So we're going to go with some red and some purple. Okay, it's still early days yet here, folks. Purple. Right, so we're going to try some there. A little bit thicker now, deliberately. All right. Now this is going to be an interesting one. There. <laughs> Let's see what happens to that as it goes down. Whoa, look at that go. So instead of racing down at a thousand miles an hour, this could be quite interesting to see what happens eventually when it gets down there. Now there's quite a lot of paint going on there, so I'm going to just stop with that one. Okay, so we're going to let that go on a bit of a slow burner. This is sort of in between now. So I'm, mi I'm messing with consistencies, and I think that's a good thing to do. So here we go on the red. So, uh, Jackie Bouvet, yeah, great question. Thank you for asking that. Uh, so, is the base coat um, uh, cured, basically? Uh, no, it, it isn't. It's still curing, but it is. It's a little bit tacky because it's only what I call a skin coat. So, it is. It's, we're able to paint on it without it really dragging itself too much. But, of course, when I've sprayed thinners on, it's going to partially dissolve it as well, which is where you can see all the, like, the, the tendrils of white around the outside. So, uh, great, great question, Jack. Thank you for uh, asking that. Right, I'm going to get, uh, going to get another, another red one on while I'm zooming in on the bottom canvas. It's got a nice, a big, thick red one on this side over here. Yeah. Okay. We're digging that. Right. Okay. So, still got three killers up there. Let me get back down again. Pull me back. Oh, we're back, Instagram, I told you. Let's bring you guys in a little bit closer. Okay. And there's definitely things happening down there, look. You can see that. So, let's just pop you there, because I want to be able to, to be able to see that as well, as things are starting to progress. And it's already got a different personality to last week, which is really interesting. So, we're going to go in now uh, with the orange. Oh, that red's going pretty nice. Yeah, what happened to that yellow? All the purple's still going. It's a slow burner. It's the purple, but that's good. Let's get in with the orange now and the green. And then we'll have a look at some of your comments. 
Right, okay, now orange is my favourite colour. Um, so I think there's going to be quite a bit of this going on. So let's see what a difference orange makes. Right, I need to pick that up. So let's do one by the side of it. I haven't done a double before, so let's see what happens. Right, okay, that's quite a bit of that. Let's go with the green this side then. Very therapeutic, this. I urge everybody to have a go. So limit the amount of green. Now then, if I swap hands, let's go for orange. So let's see if we can start and fill up some of these lines here. Curious to know why my, my yellow went off lion. I don't know that. That's annoying, isn't it? Uh, so, Jackie uh, asking about the angle uh, of the canvas, I have absolutely no idea. I would say it's definitely not 90 degrees, it's slightly shallower than that. This does have a lean back. My worry about going to 90, as, as Aidy and I were having the conversation, was that I'd miss the canvas altogether and it'd just go, you know, sort of catch it halfway down. With a slight lean back, the good thing about this is, is, is as long as I hit a start point at the top, I'm pretty much guaranteed, unless I'm an idiot, that I'm going to get an even line all the way down. So that green's nice. I like that. Yeah, AD reckons about 82 degrees, something like that. Okay, that's good. See, now, because the green isn't as fluid as some of the others, now we're starting to get different... Oh, my head, I keep hitting my head. Ah. Right, okay, let me just decamp a second. Here I am. Hey! <laughs> right, I need to line up the paints that I've already used. I'm just going to grab the ones behind there because I need to figure out now what to do. Even though we've given this a spray with thinners, yeah, you can see that it's still, you know, we've still got, the lines are still looking a little bit like last week. So even though I thought the thinners would sort it, it isn't. Right, so what's going on down here? So what do you think, mate? Shall we give it a bit of a pull out? Mm, right, just a little little tease. No. Okay, that's fine. Okay, right. Just looking at all the rest of it. Okay, right, so that does need a little squeeze of thinners. Let me come back to my mark. Maybe one there. Couple there. And of course, as we put more paint on, this is going to change again. It is actually, at this stage, the structure is better. I am happier with that, and this will start to move. And of course, we've got a fairly loose base coat on the back, so I think things are going to con constantly change down here. Right, that's better. Okay, the gloves are still okay. Uh, right, Matthew says, I wonder what would happen instead of having a canvas at the bottom where the drippings just fall down and they puddle, putting a spinning circular wheel and let the paint dripping onto that. I don't know if we could physically achieve that, Matthew, but it would be very interesting to find out. Um, wow, did that thick purple make it to the bottom? Uh, just about, Jackie. Yes, it did. Uh, Carl Rowe says hello. Zane, g'day. Uh, lovely start to his Thursday. Nelson says hello. And uh, Lynn Sutherland, hello, Lynn. Would you risk another yellow next to the wayward one? Yes, definitely, Lynn. Yeah, 100%. The yellow's on my radar, trust me. Uh, Brenda Terito loves it. Hello, Brenda. De Demont Hardy. And uh, it's turning into be a Wednesday staple. Well, thank you very much. It's great to have you here. Miriam is also here. Corrie, is that... Oh, hang on. I've gone straight up back to the top. And my mouse has disappeared. All right, let's come back to that. John Martinez. Uh, Christine uh, said Lynn, Matthew, Astrid, Eleanor, Funny Fox, Denise, Larry, Lucia, RDNS, Charlene, Red Devil, Samara, Clive, V, uh, Marlies. Uh, hello from the Netherlands. And uh, who else we've got? Sandy and have I said Samara? Nuran, Taylor Joe, Claire Emery, hello, Philomena, good to see you, Corikio, uh, hi, hope I've said that right, Corikio, Cor 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 let me know. Anyway, Suzanne Phillips also says a very good evening, awesome, fantastic, and it's great to have you guys here as well. Let's get some yellow on, we're going to go with a lighter yellow here, and I'm going to start with the black. Ooh, uh. 
Yeah, I've already answered that one, buddy. Yeah, we're going with that now. Right, where's my wayward yellow gone? There it is. Yeah. Right, okay. I'm going to have to see if I can figure this out. So we definitely need one there, look. This is a lighter one. Ne oh, let's cover up the orange there. Never, ne never tried covering something up. So let's see where this yellow goes. Well, we know it's definitely going to go to the bottom. Not too much there. Let's try one over this side, and I'm hopeful this is where it gets tense now, look, as it goes down. You all right with the shot there, buddy? Right, here we go. What's going to happen when it, re when it hits the other yellow? Is it going to track off or go straight through? Oh, it's only tracked a little bit. That's not bad. That's, that's straightened it up a little bit so I can get another colour in between that. And let's, well, let's not overdo the yellow, folks. Right, okay. Phew! Well, not so far, that's not so too bad. If I make that same mistake again by having it one that tracks over to one side, I think then what I'll need to do is to wait for that one to sort of cure over a little bit. Uh, rather than do it just going straight over it straight away, if that makes any sense. Because um, we're about to start to add the gravity to it now. And I don't know if the eagle eyed amongst you ever kind of noticed this, but. Well, I tend to not sort of start with the, with the darker colour straight away. I get the primaries on, kind of build up where I want it to go, and then uh, start adding the other colours around it. Yeah, I see an instant problem with the purple now. Yeah, well, I, I now realise that. Right, so, we, are you just going to zoom in on the purple? Of course, with the purple being thicker, nothing's going to sort of go through it. It's all just going to track around it, so I now need here to thin the purple down and to try and persuade all this what goes over it next there we go look at that that's off yeah insta i'm going to give you a <laughs> shot at that look at that that's crazy you see uh this oh hang on. sorry that's what i'm talking about so it was there look that was solid and now you can just see it starting where i've just sprayed it with thinners look it's just starting to to go and to dilute so hopefully that's going to track down here and fill that gap that's the hope all right, so I need to give that enough time to do that. Meanwhile, look what's happening at the bottom. We are starting to get some very interesting things happening. And I'm going to leave this as a completely organic thing. I'm literally just going to do nothing but move this the canvas in and out. So I think now I'm going to move that out a little, little bit more. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's fine. That's good. So that's filling that up. So, I now know where I need to be. That, that will hopefully sort itself out. Right. Okay. A couple more sprays here because we're getting some paint that's just stopped. So, time to go with the big guns, folks. This is what we're here for, isn't it? Let's get the paint on now. Let's get in there. Let's get this sorted out. Let's get this flowing. We want all this down on the floor. Okay. You have to keep monitoring this. This is where it starts to get a bit of fun now. Fun in inverted commas, obviously. <laughs> Fun for you, stressful for me. Right, okay, here we go, here we go. Right, I got black, I got maroon, and I got copper. Let's see if we can start to add some gravity to this. And if I hit my head once more, well, I won't swear, but it, I feel like it. <laughs> right, okay, where do we need some paint? So let's get some on here, guys. Let's let's do this. Here we go. Maroon first. Let's work our way through. So, MS, uh, sound quality isn't clear. Okay. Uh, I'm we well, I'm wearing a breathing apparatus in a 90 decibel environment uh, with air flowing constantly into the end of the microphone. So, if it doesn't sound like it does on the television or any other YouTube videos you watch, then that could very well be the reason why. But we are battling against a lot of technology here, my friend. Uh, uh, Matthew, glad to hear your wife's on the mend. Thank you for uh, letting us know. Okay, so you can see me going on now with the copper. See what happens as we start to fill some of these gaps up. That's a good copper. Yeah, that's interesting. I like that. 
All right, right, so I need to get... I'm just talking to myself in my head. I need to get that one there and that one there. They're still tracking, aren't they? They're crazy. Despite having given them a, a good helping hand. So... Okay, right. Okay, let's have a look. So let's... Yeah, we definitely need something here. I wonder, I wonder if I can get one in between there. Let's have a look. Love a drop of yellow and black. Reminds me of a bumblebee. Right, let's just force that. Come on, come on, go over everything. What will happen, what will happen? No, it's tracking again. It's going round. It just doesn't like that, does it? Oh, no, it's going. It's going. Oh, what is for that? <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> this get tense, this does, I tell you. Right, let's get this one here. Hey, he's saying, will it leave a little hole? No, I reckon it's going to go, mate. It's going to go all the way. Who want to know? It might leave a hole. <laughs> so, Tracy Hilda, thank you for asking the question. Oh, I love this question. Is it acrylic paint? Question mark. No. No, this is enamel paint, Tracy. Hence why I have to wear a breathing mask. Otherwise, I die. That's basically it. So they give off very, very toxic vapours when they're in contact with air. Uh, neither of which are very nice. It produces two particularly nasty hydrocarbons. And the breathing apparatus does help me stay alive. Yeah. This AD shows you around. You'll sh you can see that I'm in a giant tent. It's essentially a giant nuclear fallout shelter. I'm not kidding him. This is the same material they use in the nuclear waste industry. And uh, that's what I'm in right now. I kid you not. Uh, but it's brilliant and it works. And it helps keep me alive. Uh, which is often, you know, a bonus, I, I think, in your job, isn't it? When you still come home at the end of the day. Right, okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's give this a spray. Because, guys, we're going in with the lime greens next. <laughs> yes, the lime greens, Instagram. Let's move you over there, because the lime greens are going to look pretty awesome. Uh, okay, Dims and Adrian and Davinia. Hello, guys. Thank you for being here. Right, let's give this a little bit of more of a direct spray now. Shapes are looking all right, you know, that's fine. We've lost the uh, little hole there, so that's good. Let's give this a little bit of a tease. All right, because all this is going to get captured down below, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, because already the bottom's looking completely Salvador Dali, <laughs> which is really interesting. So I'm just going to have a little, little skadooshing of where these, these paints have just sort of formed a barrier. So we can get that moving just a little bit. Other than that, actually, really cool. You know, this is all going to... We'll, do, we'll be able to do a lot with thinners here. Right, we're going in with the Suarez Blue, the Lime, and some White. Okay, yeah, that's what we're heading for next. Now, which camera are we on, buddy? Fantastico, right. I'm up top, mate. I'm up top. I feel like one of those really bad jugglers at the circus. <laughs> right, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's be nice to get our white in here, wouldn't it? So let's, which way am I going to go? Let's go this side. Let's see what happens now. Can I get a white all the way down? Now, this is the reason why I went for a cream base coat. It's because hopefully you're going to see it where the white hits it. There we go. Like that. Let's get one over there. Now, I'm trying to think a few steps ahead here. So, let's just pop the white down. I've got to come back to my lime green and my Suarez blue. Let's get a few... Oh, ow, ow, my head. Let's get a couple over here of the whites. Okay, white is good. Let's grab... Hmm, I think we need some white through the copper. Let's see if we can drag that down. So, of course, the white's going to have... Because it's thinner than the copper, if that manages to hit, which it will, look, because there's a lot of copper down below, it's going to drag the copper with it. So it's another, hopefully another kind of technique I can use to drag the paints around. Now, can we see the first white going through the black? Oh, wow. Down there. Aiden zooming in on it. Look at that. Oh, yes. That's what we came here for. So, Lucia, what liquid do I put in the spray? It's an ordinary, you say ordinary, um, 
mineral thinners. So it's like normal paint thinners, but it's a little bit more refined. Uh, but it is just stock paint thinner. Black, yellow and white's looking really nice now. I was hoping that when the white hits, this is what it would do. We're going in with the Suarez Blue, a little bit thicker. All right, so I must make sure I spray at the end. So we're going to see if we can do that now with the white here. We're going to force the blue through it. Now, because the white went on first, the blue doesn't have to do an awful lot here. It just literally has to reach the bottom. So all I've got to ensure now is that I am putting enough of a volume of paint on for it to get into the white, because this could, in theory, produce some really interesting effects. And of course, very shortly, I've got to run away and look at the bottom canvas and see whether I need to move it again. That's two Suarez blues gone down. We had a French blue in the centre. All right, so I'm going to pop another one down here. Right, let's just get that one on. Oh, time for arts is working on a on a new shed. Sounds cool. Uh, right, back again from from hence I came. All oh, right, okay, it's falling off the edge. That's fine. Need to move it now, don't we? All right, so let's get this moved to the next level. Oh yeah, I can't do much about that, can I? Darn it. Right, okay, well, let's put it, sorry, just going to have to uh, dive off a second here, guys. I just need to put an extra, there's a bit of canvas. What did I do with that bit of canvas from earlier on? I had a, I had a small bit, you know. What did I do with it? I put it somewhere, I didn't want to use the great big bit. I had a small bit, I don't know where it is. Right, okay, I'm going to have to stick this underneath it. Oh. Okay. There, yeah, that might, uh, that, that, should be, that should be all right. Oh, goodness me. Right. Insta, I hope you're getting that. Right, very different things happening now to the bottom, look. <laughs> Interesting, right, okay. So, great question from Derek. How much more time does enamel give you to work with the paint as opposed to acrylic? What a superb question. Thank you, Derek. Well, it's difficult to, to assess, really, because... You know, thinning paint as I do, it does extend the working time in some respects, but then it accelerates the curing time at the same time. Um, I think the best way I can answer that is, is I probably get about three times as long with this, having used acrylics in the past, uh, to work with something. And I have had an instance uh, where I've been able to keep the paint liquid for, for about eight months. Um, and actually, it's not as difficult as it, that may sound. It might sound like, <laughs> like jiggery-pokery and, and tomfoolery, but it isn't. You just have to keep spraying it with a, uh, uh, a chemical that stops the air from curing it. You see it? Like a barrier. It's like a barrier cream for art. <laughs> right, we're going... Thank you, Derek. I appreciate you asking the question. Right, orange. Now, the orange has, has had a really neat effect with the black. So I'm just looking now where our white's gone. Uh, look what's... Oh, the blue. See, the blue's starting to work as well. Which I'm really, really, really super pleased about. So thank you, Matthew. Come up with the title. Yeah, we all love the uh, song by Aerosmith, Dream On. So yeah, could replace that with Stream. So is that what we're going to call it? Stream On. Yeah, I like that. I like that, Matthew. So I'm just going to get a little thinner on the pink. Well, the pink, oh, I don't know if it's going to actually reach the bottom. Will it get there? Will it get there? Will it get there? Just about. Ooh, skadoosh. There it goes. <laughs> So, Zane, a good question from Zane. Will we see special sauce going on the bottom part of this or on the catch canvas? Well, I haven't quite decided yet, Zane. You, 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 we might have to take a vote um, on whether I actually use any special sauce. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I have a container which has got some rather interesting chemicals in it, one of which is thinners, but the other three I don't, I don't talk about. 
and it's a question of whether I put that on or not because it does have some very very interesting properties it does some cool things um have I used all the colors now you can see better than me buddy have I, have I, I think I've used all the colors haven't I Right, yeah, so I, I need, that's it, I need to get the normal purple on, you're right, mate. Um, who was that from? Joe Favors, can I mix enamel paint with any other mediums? No, is the straight answer to that. Thank you for asking, Joe Favors. Um, no, it eats everything, and because most things are immiscible as an immiscible liquid, it means it doesn't uh, blend with it. Uh, you can't actually mix it, and in actual fact, with certain uh, paints, it actually just emulsifies, so it separates out and just forms claggy lumps. Really, not the most desirable of things. Um, right, okay, this this edge I need to do something with. That's fine. Let me just take a step away for a moment. The blue's looking really nice. We have got it looking different again from last week. I like actually the lines are feeling a little bit better, but they're still not as I want them. So I'm just going to give that a tiny spray across the fold. Right, that's better. Look, that's better because when I come to it, when these colors go on, I'm going to need to separate them out a little bit. So, just need to react to what's happening here, just with very small doses of the thinners. You want to try and think about what it is that's going to end up, it looks going to end up looking like. So, I'm starting to make some of those plans now. It's really quite interesting, actually, the way it's shaping up at the moment. Uh, okay, fine. So I've got the big purple. So I'm going to go purple on the outside here. We need to uh, do something with this red edge down here. But actually, we are filling up more of the canvas than we were last week, which is good. Oh, right. Jeff, do you know that rainbows who break the law end up going to prison? <laughs> oh, Jeff. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> Oh, Jeff, that is brilliant. I absolutely love it. Oh, dear. Looks like a, a Mexican blanket I bought in Tijuana, says Derek. Lucky for you, that's all I can say. Oh, yes, Michelle Baldwin. Big lol. I love that. Yeah, a dad joke, Jeff. That is hilarious, Jeff. Tell us another one. Anyway, guys, look, if you're enjoying this, and of course you are, because there's loads of you watching. Um, oh, stick to my left. There we are, that way. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, right, and don't forget to give us a subscribe if you're not already here. There's quite a few new faces tonight, so it's brilliant to see you guys. Please do hit on that big red button, then you never, ever miss any of the updates. Click on the bell icon. Fantastic. Now, of course, because there are plenty of you watching, what have we got? 38 thumbs up, 74 of you watching, 5 of you watching. If you are enjoying this, guys, please do give us a nice, big, fat thumbs up. Tells all the Google boffins on YouTube that you're enjoying this and he might just recommend it to somebody else who might enjoy it as well that would be awesome thank you so much and a massive welcome i have to say to all our patrons there's lots of them joining in the conversation tonight and i'm sure they're watching from the comfort of their home somewhere it's great to see you guys here now they've had early access to all the things that have been going on behind me plus a myriad of other things especially after our live stream broadcasts they get all the updates before anybody else and of course they also get an original suarez painting what am i talking about well we've shipped quite a few recently and i think we've got if don't mind me saying so denise watching from mexico she's had hers and uh, we've got charlene uh, in california she's had hers as well they're taking pride of place on my social media platforms just as much as they are in the homes of the people that own them if you'd like to get your hands on one and they are free all you have to do is click on our Patreon page, which Aidy is going to pop a link into the messages. And you will also find it down in the description on this video as well. For Instagram, you guys, I'm just coming back. Please don't worry. You can also find that in the link in my bio, but obviously not till you're finished watching. Well done, everybody. So there we go, guys. Your exclusive Suarez original could be yours in a matter of days. Click on the link. And go have a look fantastic thank you so much everybody right that's just given ourselves a minute or so to see what's going on down here lots of things happening now oh where am i gonna go with this now thank you denise you are denise has put in the comments she loves her so much 
and they are pretty unique there's a hundred and two of them uh yes denise i think yours is yeah i will double check into that do not worry uh right so let's just find out why that black is over there okay right so we've got a few more colors to put on next one my colleague will be very pleased to know is going to be purple Purple. Right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see if we can fill up some of these gaps. What do we got? Okay, right. I might have to go quiet for a second while I do this. Okay. Let's get purple on the end here. Plenty just for AD, look. Right, so my comms to AD have just given up. It could be. Because my battery has gone. No idea, so I'll just... Ah, there we go. Back in the room. Hello! You're back, sir. I can hear you again. Oh, I haven't used... Ah! I knew there was a colour up here that I couldn't get my head around. Yes, I haven't used the line yet. Here we go. Look, it's all happening now. Here goes the line. These are slightly thicker now, guys, because... We've got the majority... I want these to be a bit of the slow burners. They're going to react quite interestingly now with the thinners that's already there so these are going to take their time to kind of find their own level uh yes astrid yeah i'll check into that because yours has definitely gone i thought you would have had it by now so uh for anybody waiting i will then look tomorrow uh, and give you all an update on where they all are um, because yours definitely gone out, Astrid. Hopefully you've had a... Let me know if you've had a tracking reference through Astrid, actually. Should have. Um, yeah, it's gone down. It's gone down. I'm loving it. That's good. We're going to go the drop more pink here. I want that to go through the copper. Yeah, please do, uh, do have a look on your email, Astrid, uh, just to see if you've had a tracking reference. I do remember you do packing yours up. We'll get there. Don't panic. Okay, so, now I've got the purple on. What's the purple looking like now it's hit the bottom? Oh, too many cups up here. Now, as I move around my platform, this is the crucial thing. I need to make some decisions. Oh, I knew there was another colour. Did I put the, yeah, I did put the water blue on, didn't I? Right, but we haven't got much down here. And I've got a little bit of a split in the purple. So, let's get a little drop down here. So, we can force it through the gap. Brute force, there it goes, skadoosh, yes, thank you very much, and we'll have a nice big giant one on the end. Oh yeah, fill that end up nice, right, the purple's looking good over here, can I manage to get over here, yes I can, I haven't hit my head for a full two minutes, I'm doing well, right, let's get another water blue on the end, oh it's trapped, isn't it, it's trapped just slightly, that's alright, that's alright. Right, so now it says, why do I have an iron in the back? An iron? Hey, who can see it? Where's there an iron? Is it? Oh, yeah, an iron. Yes, sorry, I can see it, yeah. Um, because sometimes we have to iron the canvases. Would you believe? I kid you not. We sometimes have to iron them. Um, and that's just to get them flat. Specifically, uh, I can tell you, it's when... Uh, when we do the tilt table week and we have the platform that tilts and kind of rotates that's when we have to do that uh, the vast majority of the time uh okay right so things definitely progressing here oh we're gonna have to have a look at the bottom bit in a moment just bear with me a second matthew lines falling down remind me of a soul he's not taking a breath yet wow that's cool ladies purple strikes again that's a bit dramatic uh what is that diane oh here i am the canvas yes i know well i have to because it's the only way you can get the creases out um thank you for answering that diane oh have we lost feed on insta are we still there oh yeah it's finished instagram's just thrown me out mm. right yeah it's just completely frozen mate Hang on one second, folks. We've got a slight issue over on Instagram. 
Nope. That's gone, buddy. Phone's, phone's had it. It's, yeah, the Instagram app's not working. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Right, I'm just going to close it and reopen it again. Sorry, everybody, just give me a second. Well, we're back live again. Oh, my goodness me. What a palaver. Right, okay. If you're joining us on Instagram now, I'm very sorry. Oh, I don't know what happened there. This is literally all just fell apart. We're back on. Sorry, Insta. But we're back. We are definitely back. Right, I'm just going to tease this. Come on, come on, fill the gaps up. Please. All right, it's not difficult. I'm giving you all the thin as you could ever possibly want here. Uh, right, this is looking very nice. Do you know what? Zane mentioned the special sauce. It's very tempting right now. But um, I'm not going to go for it just yet. All right, let's just get some fingers in for now. See how we get on with that. I don't know how I'm going to do that in the centre, though, because I can't reach. <laughs> it's going to be fun, isn't it? Let's see. Let's just work these edges. Work it. Work the edges. Oh, yeah. Let's see what lines we can get here. I'm not too worried what happens here. Let's just see if we can force, force a little bit of this. Okay, I did say it was all going to be organic, but of course, obviously, <laughs> up to a point, I am going to have to have a serious word with the, with the, with the paint. Yeah, yeah, you're right, dude. Fingers are organic, aren't they? You can get away with that. Now, of course, as I pulled this out, I can't step in very well, so I'm going to have to see if I can just quickly improvise with something. Right, that's fine. That's okay. That's dealt with those few bits. Lovely. And that one there. Is there actually any paint there? No, there isn't. Right, that's a candidate for some more. Okay, we're not far away, folks. Well, I can see one glaring issue. Can I get in with a spoon? No. Oh, this is going to be fun. Right, I've got my special jibber-jabber here. Right, are we ready? Let's see. Can I? <laughs> it's actually... Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, let's see if I can... Right, what about that there? What, all right, uh, can I, what can I stick on the end of that? What can I stick on the end of that with a bit of tape? Oh, I've got a great idea. Here we go. It's homemade. This, this, is, this is the effect of knowing AD for 25 years is what I'm about to do next. Don't go away, folks. I've just got to deal with these few bits, and there's a couple of last colours I want to get on. Who, who said that? Ah, uh, Tracy. Yes, Tracy, you're right. Look. Da -da -da. <laughs> How's that, mate? Is that all right? <laughs> right, first off, I need to get that one, because that's, that's annoying me. So let's get that one sort of kind of moving. I'm in the purple purple now. I can always give that a spray, so let's not worry too too much. It's just I just need it, need that bit of paint just to not you know not have its own barriers i don't know what the word i don't know what words to use tonight right let's turn it around the other way right good this is just about filling up spaces okay so that's fine that's fine yes it's this blue it's this blue here that's all right it's okay i'm gonna just wipe that with some thinners Do -do 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 -do. and then i've just got to decide if there's any more colors that I need to introduce on this before we put the last few colours on. That's what we need to find out. Most importantly, of course, we're going to take you for all the close-up look around very, very shortly. Okay, so stick around. Don't go anywhere because that's the bit you want to see. Let's just drag a little bit more of this blue out. Yeah, it's nice. That's a much better line. We're going to dance that with thinners in a minute. Oh, I could paint pretty pictures on the floor. Right, so that's got rid of that one. That one. Is there any others that I've missed here? Look, let's sort that out. There we go. Just tease that down a bit. We don't want to do anything with the bottom. I've done nothing with the bottom except let the paint just find its own level. It is looking so much different to how it was last week. That's actually really cool and I like that. Uh, so let's just do one thing. We're going to just bring this line out a little bit. Just down there. There we go. Okay, that's fine. That's covered everything up. So now I'm going to take just a moment. Apologies, Insta, if you were watching this earlier on. We had a with the connection 
but we're back on now. Right, so this is this is nice. This is still pooling. So I now need to figure out: is there anything left to go on the top? So yes, there is. Right, so we're just going to go in with a little drop of red, and this one isn't going to be isn't going to be too thick. But this is going to be quite loose. Oh, sorry, what we're talking about the opposite. This is this isn't going to be thick. No, it is. It is going to be thick. I'll actually decide what I'm going to talk about in a minute. Right, let's get the red on. Let's get the red on. So this is straight out of the can, red. Right, here we go, folks. Here we go. Right, so where's it going to go? And then I'm going to get some more white on as well. All right, so let's get that red there. These should form some fairly consistent lines without too much pooling at the bottom, because, of course, now the thinners is evaporating. got to concentrate now these are the important infills can't mess this up Well, it's a great name, Matthew. Symphonic Overdrive. Why is it coming up with some fantastic names? It's so cool. Well, thank you. Uh, Jeremy, that's a very interesting and astute observation. Looks like circus balloons that have started bleeding. <laughs> Isn't it great how we all see different things? It might, re might remind you of absolutely nothing. But if it does does remind you of something please do let us know that's very cool mm, a very vivid imagination jeremy i'll give you that yeah diane you're, you're right we are actually all of us watching you've tuned in tonight to watch paint dry how amazing is that you tell her you if you go to work or whatever it is tell her your colleagues what what have you been doing last night or today i've been watching this dude on the internet uh, I'll be watching paint dry with this this bloke who wears a space mask. And hilarious. You know what? Are you, is everything all right? Are you, you, you want to talk to us about something? No, no, no. It's fine. I quite enjoy it. It's very therapeutic watching this these two dudes doing what they're doing. Oh gosh, great fun. Right, okay, we're just dropping some white in. Let's let's get back with the program here, folks. Now, although this isn't entirely to fill up the gaps here. I'm kind of concentrating on, because I know what's going to happen up top. I'm trying to figure out what's going to happen down the bottom. And actually, I want the whites to go in to try and sort of, you know, give some blends here and there. You know, like we did on the black. So let's see now, this late in the game, if the white is going to do anything. I'm hoping that it will, and I've got an idea. It's going to start and jazz things up quite a bit. That's, that's my hope, anyway. They're fairly thin lines. And remember, I'll put no thinners up the top here. It's all down the bottom. Now, let's see how far down the white's going to go and where it ends up. Okay, now I can even see now that this is starting to dry as we speak, which is pretty crazy. Oh, my goodness, what is that white doing? <laughs> it's off. It's like, no, no, I've had enough. I'm going. Bye-bye. Uh, Aiden should be giving you some pretty cool shots of that by now. Got a different personality to last week's painting. Completely different. You know, it's the same technique. We've made a few modifications and changes, but it looks different. You know, and isn't that the whole point? We're all supposed to be pushing things forward all the time. And even if we try a technique for the second time, it's great to see where you can take it. And just with a few adjustments here and there, the kinds of things that will happen. And we've followed every drop as it's gone down the canvas, haven't we? And we're on the thicker paints now because these are the ones that need to be the slow burners. They don't need to move too quickly. They just need to do their job. Which is to kind of hold everything together. If they disappear too quickly, it's game over. So let's see. That should be about right. I'm out of all the purples now. All the purple and the blue is done. So, ow, ow. That's my head again. Let's come down here. 
done this on one set of gloves as well pretty crazy isn't it thank you everybody for being back here on instagram i do I really really appreciate it now uh, we lost the connection great things going on down there we're going to give you a look in just a moment i just need to make sure that um that we're not losing things down here i tell you what's really interesting is, is that although we've got a nice blend of yellow up top i'm losing the yellows down here so i might even go for a little bit of melon or sunset yellow just just before and a bit of Piaggio, that's what I think I need to do. Do I, or do I need to go any more black? It's difficult now getting this colour combination completely right. We're a little bit light in the centre, so the centre needs just a tiny bit of work. That's it, that's what I need is my melon. So we'll get these two on with another single black, and then I think we might be done. We might be done. So uh, I'm just glancing over at the laptop. The blue's still on its way down. Is it going to get to the bottom? I don't know. If that stops halfway, it's a disaster. Right, let's get Piaggio there. Will it hit the, go through the white? Yes, it's going through the white. Fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. And then... We need to go some yellow here. Keeping my eye on the laptop, because I'm going to get a shot on that in a moment. The white started to go. Look, we, the white literally went on about four minutes ago. Now we're going on with a much thicker yellow here. These are the ones. They don't need to be heroic, these colours. Right. They don't need to dominate now. They need to accent. Okay. Yeah, that looks good on the lappy, mate. I can see that. Yeah, the blue stopped. Right. There's always one, isn't there? There's always one. One, one, one. Ah. Ah, thank you, Denise. Yeah, it would be cool. Yeah, tribute to piano. It would be cool if there were 88 lines. I'm not sure there are 88 lines just yet. Age is going to stay on the overhead camera and count them now. So, AD reckons is about 60. Uh, if you take, if you take into account the blue line that's split into two. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? There's always one. There's always one! Right, okay. That's fine. So, yeah, I mean, a couple of the lines did go astray. I'm just trying to think if... So, they were so close. It was so close in a couple of areas. It's that yellow one. I don't know what happened to that early doors. I'm just wondering if there's anything I can do to cover that up. I don't really think there is. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. So, there's a couple of more dark black, jet black lines I want to put on. And then, I don't think we're far off, everybody. So, let's have a look at that one there. Yeah, the bottom one is looking quite interesting, mate. Mm -hmm. so paula says is that going to be one painting or two well there's one of the about this this will be one painting i think yeah route 66 in color Oh, thank you, Brenda. Oh, thank you, Charlene. Great question. Yeah, do, do, do we determine the orientation for clients or do they do? Well, it's a very good one, actually. Certain colours, certain paintings do feel better in certain orientations, but... We've been completely unexpected on many occasions, uh, sorry, completely turned around with that on many occasions for clients because it just comes down to a personal choice. Um, so we just tend to go with whatever 
you know, we, we think looks right, but ultimately it will be it will be a client's decision on which way they want to go with it. So, which is nice, really, because then it just becomes a very personal thing for them, I think. Um, but yeah, this, this is going to look pretty pretty crazy. If it holds its shape, it's going to look pretty nuts, uh, which is really interesting. I mean, I'll definitely be working on whether how the lines are get get figured out. You know, in terms of getting them absolutely straight, there will there will be a method there somewhere, uh, but that will be for another day, obviously. Oh, falling over now. Uh, right, okay, let's just have a little look where we're at. The edges I'm not too worried about. Those few features of black are doing really well. We popped a little bit extra of the yellow in, which has just brought that alive a little bit. Now I just want to test my blue theory. Are the blue is the blue mix okay? Orange is alright. Am I missing anything? I don't think I am. I think I might call that and say that that is done. Right, so we'll give it one final spray. Oh, it's getting a bit... I can't move around here. <laughs> this is fun. Right, okay. So where do I need to spray? Let's just come around here a second. Uh, this is doing all right. So let's give that one there and that one there. Uh, yes, yes, it is Piaggio, mate. I don't know what's happened to that. Yeah, I don't know why that's just suddenly gone off, but um, I'll, I'll be able to. I'll, I'll give it a brush and uh, I'll be able to correct that. That's interesting. That's nice. Oh, that's really nice. There's so many nice things to look at on this bit, guys. I'm going to show you that in just a second. So we're going to do some close-ups. Let's just give that bottom edge a spray. We need to encourage this to come off the canvas and fall down below. Okay. Yeah, thanks for your feedback, Diane. It's really noted. Yes, you're right, Jackie. I've just come into the Suarez blue, yeah. It just needs a nudge, doesn't it? We're all getting personally invested now in what's happening to each of these colours. I love it. <laughs> come on, down you go. There's a good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. This is a good boy. <laughs> Is it going to go? Mind you, having said that, the white as well. Oh, no, the white's okay. The white's okay. The black. What's the black doing? Let's send that Let's send that down. There he goes. There we go. Gosh, this is just... You know, it's, it's one of those that just doesn't stop, does it? You've got to be to totally on this all the time. Right, okay. So, are we ready for some close-ups, everybody? Let's do some close-ups, man. Let's go around the camp. Thanks, mate. Oh boy, right, so this is Stripey Painting 2.0 with all our modifications like we said earlier. Shall we have a look? Let's, this is live, folks. This is actually developing as we speak. This is getting, it's all getting crazy. with lots of cool things happening. And of course, it's going to continue to develop over the course, certainly of the next four to six hours. It's going to get completely crazy. Paint. Hey, I can't keep still enough for you to be able to see how the paint is moving, but I can physically see how all this is moving and shaping itself. There we go. If I try and stay static for a second, look. You see that moving? Let's go to the end, look. Oh, yeah, I love it. We are all watching paint dry, folks. Ah, this is it. This is what life is all about, watching paint dry. Let's come over here. Look at these tiny little fractals coming out. Oh, and there's that burnt sort of orangey coppery in the center loving that with that streak of yellow just starting to poke through let's have a look on the bottom oh my goodness me it's all kicking off Ooh, sugar there goes my gloves and we've lost insta again okay not to worry right what's going on over here well there we go it's all coming off the edge Ooh, look at those interesting shapes starting to come out this is completely 100% organic. I have no idea how this is going to dry. You can see it all dripping off the edge. Marvellous. Oh, look, it almost looks like fish scales. Wow. Oh. <laughs> it looks like a complete fish, doesn't it? So we've got some darker swells here, but obviously it's mixed with the black. How oh, very interesting. There we go. You want an organic painting? There it is. And here we go on the other side now, look. Oh, look at all this towards the edge. Isn't that looking wonderful? The copper flakes are starting to come out, but it's still on the move. 
it's still it's like you're watching some lava flow coming out of some giant mountain look at that isn't that incredible all the different tonal changes and then there we go look there's our lines they were almost perfect weren't they Apple. look especially if you had the yellow on early doors why did that happen we were so close uh, but let's go from this view look i think you'll agree again for, for version 2.0 that's just got completely and utterly utterly brilliant as a result uh, and so so different from the first one you saw the first one of the video when we introduced that at the start of the night and even though the principle is the same the technique is the same we've managed to uh, to create two two pages with very different personalities and obviously i'm hoping this one is straight so that's going to have a final spray for me just to encourage the last bit of uh, of paint moving around but there we go guys that's version 2.0 so i think that's quite probably where we're going to stop uh yeah so we've definitely stopped on instagram i'm going to shut that down right okay folks so let's have one last look at your lovely comments um so your custom mixed colors are amazingly vibrant and deep thank you derek uh carol definitely a fishtail uh, jeff says incredible brenda says beautiful thank you matthew loves it uh, Diane needs glitter. Ooh, possibly you. <laughs> Matthew says, dude, awesome. Diane, very inspiring. Denise, now uh, we're trying to have a very nice... Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. He gets annoyed if we won't watch all the live stream. Okay, that's what I think was one of our young viewers. Korekio uh, loves it. Uh, Shinguji. I hope I've pronounced that rightly. Thank you for watching. Order versus Chaos. Loving this style a lot, says Charlene. Uh, stunning, says Denise. Thank you very much. Well, there's some good shots there, mate. I'm just looking at Aidy's handiwork on the camera. That looks fantastic, dude. Yeah. Nice job there. Yeah. Can we all... Thank you, Denise. Can we all give Aidy a nice big round of applause? Let's get some emojis on the screen. He's done a fantastic job tonight. Bless him. Uh, thank you, Tracy. That's also very kind of him to say so. I think uh, Aidy's done an incredible job tonight. And I've managed to do it in one pair of gloves. Incredible. They haven't melted. Because I haven't really been uh, handling it very much, have I? Right. No, um, I don't think, I don't, I don't know, mate. Uh, maybe I could. I've got to find it there, haven't I? I haven't, I haven't, I'm just having a chat to AD, uh, obviously. No, I haven't found it from last week, so I think the, uh, the answer to that is no. <laughs> yeah, I've still got to find the special source. Yeah, sorry, folks. Uh, it's in here somewhere, I just can't find it. But right, okay. So, I'll tell you what we will do next week. We're definitely going to have a special source evening, all right? There you go. We're going to have a special source night next week. We'll give this a final spray, a little bit of a tease on some of these new areas. It's all flowing really nicely. I just want to make sure that everything hits the bottom where it should do. Uh, beautiful, organic, almost mesmerizing, psychedelic trip on the bottom is looking pretty cool. I've no idea what's going to happen. All right, he's looking at the fish. Excellent. I've no idea quite how that's going to pan out. Uh, I guess we'll find out. But what's on the top is looking pretty awesome. I hope the fish stays, mate. Yeah. Oh, look. Is that, is that, is that? Oh, do you think I should spray it? Right. I should just help it along a little bit. Very interesting. Oh, my word. There are some superb shapes starting to come out with this. And it's still moving and still developing. So, I think with that, folks, I'm going to leave that there. I might have to turn some attention to the one that's on the bottom. But, hey, ho. Goodness me. Isn't that incredible? Look what we've done. Uh, Astrid says, what are you going to do with the canvas on the floor? Uh, I don't know yet. I'll have to tell you. I'll have to let you know when it's dried. <laughs> oh, Paula says, fantastic. As a gem as well. Yes, love to see here, Paula. Uh, hope the demons spawn aren't causing you problems. Cairo, fish and dolphin, magical. Excellent. Well, there we go, guys. That's version 2.0 for this week. We're going to let that settle itself down. Hopefully we've got all the angles straight really hope you've enjoyed that as much as we have i think it's been another blast of a night thank you for bearing with us on uh on doing the same setup again and it's too much work not to have another go wasn't it really but you've come through to the end of it it's fantastic and let's hope that this one rise a little bit differently to the other one okay right guys thank you so much for watching and we've really really enjoyed that aid is going to give you a quick overhead look now uh don't forget we're back here same time next week which i think will be something around the 15th uh, and we look forward to seeing you then. We're going to be here at 7.30 p.m. British summertime. I say summer. <laughs> summer in inverted commas. 
It's pouring down with rain outside. Shocking. <laughs> and if you're watching this on catch up, thank you for reaching in. We really appreciate it. Right, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Yada, 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 all those cool things. Help support us on the channel by sharing this out to all your friends, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you can. We'd be eternally grateful. Thank you so much. That, oh, excuse me. And if you have enjoyed that, please do give us a thumbs up because there's still plenty of you watching now. That would be awesome. Thank you for all your love. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your emojis. Thank you just for being here and watching us create another stunning artwork this evening. It's been an absolute pleasure to be with you guys. Thank you very much indeed. We hope to see you in seven days' time. Make a note of it in your calendar. But on behalf of AD and myself, can we say a very good night to you all? And it's a very good evening from Swarov's HQ, and we are officially now out of here.